Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, let us see about cell styles in Excel. Cell styles refer to formatting and features that you can customize in a cell. Using the cell styles option in Excel, you can easily modify the formatting and profile of a cell and its contents with the click of a button. In this video, I'll show you how to apply built-in styles, create custom styles, and remove the cell styles in Excel when not necessary. First, let us see how to apply the built-in cell styles in Excel. Select a cell or a group of cells. Navigate to Home. Under the Styles section, click on the drop-down from Cell Styles. When you click the drop-down, you can see a variety of cell styles with different fill colors, border colors, and fonts. Once you select your desired cell style, the style with the formatting will be applied to the selected cells. Even though there are a variety of cell styles to choose from, there might be some instances where you might not be satisfied with the available options. In such instances, you can create your custom style with the necessary options to suit your purpose. To create a custom cell style, first, select a cell or a range of cells. Go to Home. From the drop-down from Cell Styles, click on New Cell Style. This opens up a style dialog box. Under Styles Includes, by example, you can see the different format options the cell is formatted for. From the Style Name text box, you can set the name of the custom style. To change the other aspects of the cell, click on Format. This opens up the Format dialog box. Under the tabs provided, you can change the formatting type, font, border, color, and alignment of the cells. Additionally, you can also choose to lock and protect the cells to prevent them from being edited. After making all the necessary changes, click OK. This adds the custom style in the Cell Styles dropdown. If you want to change the cell style, you can do it with a click. Select the cells you want to format, then select the custom format you created from the Cell Styles dropdown. When working on cell styles, you might sometimes feel the existing styles to be a little inadequate. You also don't want to create a cell style from scratch. In such cases, you can just tweak and modify the existing styles a little to create your style. To modify an existing style, click on the drop-down from Cell Styles. Right-click on the style you want to customize and click on Modify. When you click on Modify, the Style dialog box opens. In the same way, check the checkboxes for the formatting features you want to include in the cell style. For additional settings, click on Format. This opens the Format Cells dialog box. Select and customize all the necessary options and click on OK. Now, if you click on the drop-down from Cell Styles, you can see the default built-in font modified based on your input options. It is always a good practice to copy a cell style and then modify them instead of overriding the existing cell style. In such cases, you can duplicate a built-in or custom cell style and modify them. To duplicate a cell style, Go to Home and click on the drop-down from Cell Styles. This shows you a list of built-in and custom cell styles. Now, right-click on the style you want to duplicate and select Duplicate. This in turn opens the Styles dialog box. Select the format features you want to include using the Format option. Click OK. Now, the duplicated font gets saved under the Custom section of the Cell Styles drop-down. You can now use the style whenever needed. In case you're not satisfied with the cell style, you can either change the cell style or remove them. To remove the cell style, first select the cells with a particular cell style. Navigate to Home. Click on the drop down from Cell Styles. Select Normal. This removes the cell styles from the formatted cells and the cells are reset to the default cell styling. You can delete a cell if you are not satisfied with the style formatting or if you don't need them anymore. To delete a cell style, go to Home. 
Click on the drop down from the cell styles. Right click on the cell style you want to delete and click on delete. This deletes the particular cell style from the cell style repository. That is all everyone. In this video, we saw how to apply a cell style, modify, duplicate a cell style, create a custom cell style, remove a cell style, and even delete them. Depending on your needs, you can choose to use any option that suits your purpose the best. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.